right, so here's the final part of this video in this series. And here you'll be able to get a really good look at the mask and the detail that, that I told you I'd be trying to get out of this whole process. And yeah, just we'll be showing this part of the mask but not going beyond any of this because of the actual, you know, we're going to be using this in a movie. So I'll just be showing this bit, none of the artwork, none of the hair or any of that stuff that's going on it. So yeah, just um, to get started trimming, trimming the, around the base, around the neck. And it's pretty thick and durable. I, I put a lot of latex in it as you saw when I poured it earlier in the earlier video. see that detail really good in the face and, and um, when worn the um, you know the mouth moves with it and everything it looks really good and um, yeah just poke out a couple couple holes for the nose and then you want to do um, the eyes and eventually the mouth And that's pretty much it, not much to it, just um, this is where you get to be creative and go crazy with it, do what you want. It's, um, you know, color and paint and whatever your imagination can, can come up with at this point. And there it is on a little headstand thing, so you can see the detail, the jawbone and the nose and everything, they're real good. Sorry for it being blurry there. I just um, filmed this on a brand new camera, this Blackmagic Cinema camera on a 35 millimeter lens and stuck it on a tripod. And, and um, yeah, just try to get this little bit of video out quickly with it. It's all brand new equipment. And right there, I'm just taking a little X Acto knife and going around and cutting the eyes out. Once again, it's not in frame, sorry. But yeah, there we go. That's, um, that's it. Just want to thank you for watching this series and hope you learned a lot. There's a lot of videos out there on how to make masks. I highly recommend you watch all the other videos out there on mask making. This is just one of many and with all the information out there you should be able to put together a really good mask of your own. So good luck with your project.